Hello guys, my name is Junaid and this is another video of IELTS speaking. Part 1. What kinds of fast food have you tried? I have tried different kind of fast food like pasta and burgers and I have also tried pizza and uh, the my favorite one is chicken shawarma which is a traditional Turkish food and I like that so much and it's very cheap and uh, delicious in my country. Do you ever use a microwave to cook food quickly? Yes, of course, I have two microwaves in my home and uh, I have used them many times. Like I want to mention uh, last weekend when I was with my friends and I ordered uh, some food, but I we were a little bit late so its temperature was becoming low so we used to uh, we tried to heat it up and it was a very good experience that my microwave uh, just took two minutes and uh, the hot uh, food uh, was in front of me with valuable high temperature how popular are fast food restaurants where you live? Fast food restaurants are so much popular in the area where I live because uh, we like to eat outdoors and people here like to enjoy outdoor foods and meals, especially the fast food. So they don't like to cook inside their houses. So it's a trend. And many people from the offices also like to eat from the restaurants. So these kind of fast food restaurants are uh, so much famous because they provide good quality of fast food like pizza. When would you go to a fast food restaurant? I will like to go uh, to fast food restaurant towards fast food restaurant on next weekend with my cousin because it's his birthday upcoming and we will enjoy there. And I am planning that I will also decorate that fast food restaurant and uh, we will enjoy so much there. And we will enjoy different kind of delicious food, foods, especially the puddings. Part two. Describe some technology, an app, phone, software program that you decided to stop using. You should say when and where you got this technology, why you started using this technology, why you decided to stop using it, and explain how you feel about this decision you made. Okay, guys, I will uh, start this very typically in order to make you understand. Okay, thanks for giving me this opportunity to speak on this topic. This is so much interesting topic to speak on. Well, when I was in 10th class, I used to start a software which is called Language Translator and uh, uh, I used it first time in my exams and it was my English exam and uh, I was following some kind of difficulties regarding translation. So one of my cousins suggested me, who was my class fellow also, he suggested me that uh, program and uh, it was very usable for me at that time and it was flexible, easy to use. And uh, I was very happy. I just have to put the Urdu sentences and it translated them in English without any charge of fee. So I was uh, very happy at that time. But after the exams, when I realized that I was, uh, it was becoming a habit of me to use that software and uh, it was not beneficial for me, then I think that I am also misunderstanding the 
simple sentences of Urdu language and the translation of English. And I was forgetting the English language. And uh, so that's why at, the, at that time, I took a decision that I will not use this software anymore. And at start, it was a little bit difficult for me to take uh, this decision and to work on this thing. But uh, with the passage of time, after 10 to 15 days, I was back in my routine. I used to learn English with spellings, grammar, vocabulary, all kind of things. And uh, I decided uh, to stop this software because of my love with English language. I used to pass the IELTS exam. So that's why it was necessary for me. And uh, now I am feeling so much proud at that moment when I uh, took that kind of decision because now I think that I can speak English well as compared to my other friends and fellows. So that's why I am very happy and helpful to my God. Now, part three. What kinds of computer games do people play in your country? People like to play different kind of computer games in my country. And uh, if I talk about the children, they like to play the fighting games with pistols like uh, PUBG and uh, uh, gun media. And uh, if I talk about the senior citizens, they like to play cards and uh, uh, some kind of games of racing. And that uh, nowadays they are playing online chess also. And women in my country are playing some kind of makeup games. Okay. Why do people enjoy playing computer games? People in my country enjoy playing computer games because they are easy to play at home rather than go in the hot weather. So uh, it is easy for them and without uh, these games, uh, without any charge fee, these games and website are free of cost and you can enjoy there and play online and also talk to uh, their friends sitting in their home. Do you think that all computer games should have a minimum age of players? No, I don't think so that all kind of computer games have a minimum age of players because according to me, it's upon the uh, mood and uh, uh, choice of the player that which type of game he wants to play. And it's depending upon the facts that... Uh, how uh, much he likes that game and uh, which kind of uh, facilities are provided in that game which are beneficial for him. Next question. In what ways can technology in the classroom be helpful? Technology in the classroom can be helpful in different ways like children can learn easily and if you are using uh, like loudspeakers for the listening a language and learning a language, then it is so much easy for the students. They don't have to uh, listen by themselves uh, with their headphones. So uh, listening together will save their time. And these kind of technology like uh, smart LCDs and uh, different kind of uh, technological things in classroom and electronic boards can help them to save the money also. Do you agree that students are often better at using technology than their teachers? No, I don't think so that students are better at using technology because students are not well matured as compared to their teachers and they may also have misuse of the uh, technology so that's why i think that according to me teachers 
have good access to their technology and their willpower so they can use the technology in more beneficial way as compared to their students under certain circumstances with respect to facts and figures. Do you believe that computers will ever replace human teachers? Not at all. I don't think so that computer will replace the human teachers because human teachers are best for a student if a student have any kind of query or problem in his mind then a teacher can understand because a human teacher has like a lot of good things as compared to the computer like he has feelings at first and he also can repeat the thing in different ways not the uh, coded uh, ones and uh, I think one more thing coming in my mind is that human teacher can solve the problem in a well manner as compared to the computers. Thank you so much.